welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason, back with another long overdue military makeover. This is a Matchbox 49A M3 personnel carrier. These were produced by Lesney from 1958 and were in the 1 to 75 range all the way through to 1967. This red overpainted casting is another of many sent in to me by longtime channel member Tony. It is missing the grey rubber tracks which are absent from most played with examples. Here's one in far better condition complete with tracks and its US Army star decal, while this is a real M3 half track. The model half track was the first military vehicle to join the Matchbox series in 1958. It was painted dark military green to olive and all had the US Army star decal affixed. Being produced for 9 years, it had many different variations, but there were no major changes in colour or design. You'll note here though that I have two models to strip, in order to paint each in different green shades later on. The wheels of the model were originally metal with metal rollers. The front wheels later swapped to grey plastic, teamed with the metal rollers. There were briefly grey or silver plastic rollers, but they are rare and valuable, and must have only featured in short runs. Latterly, models had black plastic wheels and rollers attached, which my secondary casting had. Originally, wheels were crimped onto the axle ends before being rounded off. All tracks were grey rubber except for a final run of green tracks. Of the cast variations, the bogey was shored up later in production, while the base that pinched the mudguards to originally connect to the body was later replaced by a rivet. As it was painted green all over, I opted to leave mine complete. The model is based on the M3 half-track personnel carrier, manufactured by the American Autocar, Diamond T and White Motor Companies for the Allied Forces use during World War II. It was a development on the lighter M2 half-track car and began being produced in 1941. More than 15,000 standard and 38,000 variant M3s were built until 1945. They were later used in the Cold War. Here you'll see the two shades I'm using on the 49A. Every Matchbox military model I've restored has been painted in TS5 olive drab, so Tony's model receives that. The other receives a deeper shade of green, TS9 British green. M3s were designed to carry its crew of a single driver plus a squad of 12 soldiers. Fully laden, it could travel 220 miles before refuelling and could protect its occupants from small arms with its 6-12mm of armour. It was driven by a 386 cubic inch 6 cylinder gasoline engine. Half tracks were initially unpopular with US forces, who nicknamed them Purple Heart Boxes. This was chiefly in reference to the lack of overhead protection from artillery shell bursts. The armour was also inadequate against machine gun fire. Its reputation improved mostly due to its mechanical reliability, though they were criticised for their wide turning radius and lack of power steering. This was particularly evident in the narrow streets of Europe. There were a huge number of variations of the M3, ranging from differing specs of personnel carriers to self-propelled guns, including mortars and howitzers, to anti-aircraft versions and even experimental 40mm Bofors fitments. Understandably, the recoil or mounting weight proved too much for the M3 chassis in most cases. I'm now nearing the end of my build, so I begin reattaching the wheels to the axles to the chassis. With my black wheeled second model, one of the axles had a very, very heavy burr on it. It looked as if it had two domed ends. So I had to just cut that axle off entirely, meaning I was in need of a replacement. I took the rivet head off of a blind rivet, as I'd seen this method regularly employed over at Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. It needed cutting down to size, so it didn't stick out too far, but aside from a minor indentation near the top of the new axle, it looked good to me. Here's the new and old axles side by side for a comparison. Not bad at all. I picked up some reproduction grey tracks from Steve Flowers Model Supplies. I will leave a link in the video description. 
I put these into some hot water for a few minutes to make them more malleable, allowing them to stretch over the rollers. And there we have it, a new set of tracks for the half track. Here was how Tony's donated Matchbox 49A M3 personnel carrier was looking before I set to work on it. Tony or someone else looked like they'd had some fun painting this in red. Everything had been covered. It was missing its rubber tracks, while the US Army star decal had been coated in the paint as well. I restored this model in olive drab paint, as I have done ever since my first military makeover back in 2019. And here it is now. It is back to military grade with its new paint job, US Army star emblem and tracks. It looks so much better for it. I've got it lined up with the other casting with its black plastic wheels and rollers and its darker shade of green at the video outro. Make sure you hang around to see that. Then let me know in the comments which colour you prefer, this olive drab or that British green. I'd just like to again thank Tony for sending me in this casting. If you'd like to send me any interesting castings, send me an email. My email address is in the video description. Donations are gratefully received. I especially like 1 in 64 models that aren't Matchbox or the other mainstream brands. But anyway, please do leave the video a like if you enjoyed the result and be sure to subscribe for more. All that leaves me to say is thank you for watching and I will see you again for the next one. Bye for now.